Summary of the Book Adaptability, The Art of Winning in a Time of Uncertainty Written by Max McEwen New challenges and crises the likes of which we have never experienced, and some uncertainty dominates our minds. We begin to doubt our ability to overcome all these difficulties. This is the nature of the world full of ambiguity around us. The strongest in our current world has become the most capable of adapting to all its developments, even before he understands them. Either you adapt, or you die, and there is no room for a third option. Between them, the real difference between success and failure lies in your ability to transform and change. This is the art of winning that I invite you to learn, and it is the quality that everyone needs to live in a world of many movements and always to change the quality of conditioning that can only be mastered by those who possess all the skills and experiences that enable them to control the circumstances around them, adapt them to what is in their interest, and direct all their potential towards achieving success. Achieve its goals with the highest efficiency. Effectively, and fortunately, we can all learn how to adapt to the many changes of our world and how to exploit the worst circumstances to serve our intended goals. And that is our next conversation about the art of adaptation and the skill of living as a winner, regardless of your current situation. Chapter 1 Correct implementation of adaptation steps helps change the balance of power to your advantage. The game of winning is complex but its most important parts are the stage of trial and error, then learning from mistakes. However, there are those who do not want to risk failure, as not everyone can learn from their failed experiences, and harsh experiences may not lead to the change that those who went through them aspire to. Therefore, there is a group of people who understand the winning game more than others, and they admit that adapting to every emergency is their only way. To achieve victory, no matter how prepared you are for what is coming, it is impossible for you to control all the waves of economic, social, political, and technological change, which is pervading the modern world, and all you can do is respond to all these changes intelligently and abandon the traditional method that calls for you to limit yourself to learning from the experiences of the different past. The future is unpredictable, and there is no direct relationship between it and the past and stability. It is a great illusion that only the weak and lazy can believe. Those who do not recognize the urgent need for change, which requires strength, effort, and persistence, come out from among them and be prepared to become one of the great people who believe that their lives are the product of their correct thinking and smart choices their ability to adapt to all circumstances around them. The suffering of the American army will not be repeated after its invasion of Iraq, which was based on studies and historical facts confirming that the Iraqi people would receive the American army with flowers and roses. However, after the fall of the Iraqi army, they were shocked by the presence of popular resistance that succeeded in organizing itself and striking the American army everywhere, so the best here was the quickest. In adapting to the new situation, they prevailed. For the popular resistance bands, this is the same that is preserved by the American cultural heritage during the United States invasion of Vietnam, the suffering with the Vietnamese popular resistance groups, and the guerrilla war that exhausted the most powerful army in the world. Only because these popular groups are more able to adapt to the geography of the region and exploit it for their military advantage. This includes the ability to adapt to the new situation and current circumstances. It can turn the balance of power and change all the rules of the game. If you have begun to care, you must follow the following three steps. First, acknowledge the importance and value of adaptation. And second, study the correct rules for change. Third, implement the changes you need. Since you have recognized the importance of adaptation, you now need the rules of change, which I will tell you right now, but apply them. A matter that concerns you alone. Chapter 2 Create a work environment that stimulates creativity, adapts quickly, and rebels against the rules of others. 
I assure you that you have now begun to look at the bright side of everything and have begun to focus on solutions more than on problems. Once you acknowledge the importance of adaptation, this means that you acknowledge that you are able to control circumstances instead of being at their mercy, and therefore you will need practical rules that will help you change. The first rule is play your own game, and I mean here. Create a work environment that helps you with transparency and creativity, and is prepared to adapt to every emergency. Make this environment a fertile place for discussing opinions and developing work. As this case was described in the previous two examples, the largest military force in the world suffered in the face of popular armed groups because the time between recognizing the need to. The adaptation and action required was too long. Individuals knew what was happening and had an idea of how to deal with it, but they were afraid to tell the truth. Having succeeded in reducing the gap between recognition and action and creating a creative work environment, the second rule of adaptation is that failures are those who are unable to adapt. No matter how simple this rule may seem, the worst scenarios in which major organizations suffer are those in which the company insists on not recognizing its need for adaptation. If you find a failed system, start immediately implementing the following. First, discover all the modifications you need. Second, study the obstacles that prevented you from implementing these modifications. Third, and this is the most important step, free all members of your organization from strict rules and allow them to make the required modifications without restrictions. The third rule is rebellion against the current situation. When you find yourself forced to accept a certain situation and settle on a specific situation, the best way is in front of you. It is creating a new problem instead of solving an old one. New problems always bring new opportunities. The important thing is to resist the desire for laziness and stability that will lead you to decline and death. Resist it by rebelling and searching for change. Do not be a follower but rather be a leader. Do not submit to the rules of others, as happened in 2000, when the Portuguese government issued a law deeming drug users a medical patient and not a criminal. As the European Union considers it, this has led to the emergence of a more serious problem, which is the increase in the number of addicts. Despite European newspapers' criticism of this law, after a while, the Portuguese government's rebellion proved its validity as a large percentage of drug addicts began to search for public help and treatment. In addition to raising citizens' awareness of ways to prevent drugs and the diseases they cause. Let's learn about other rules. Chapter 3. Learn your business rules before you break them and be prepared with your alternative plans. Let us continue with the fourth rule, which is I know the rules of the game, and here I invite you to study the rules of the industry in which you work, and the rules of the business in which you practice, but not to apply them, but to break them, and this rule is more specific to startup companies than others, as knowing the rules of the market gives experience in dealing with them, it develops the company's vision of all the important details in its work, and the value of competitors in its industry then develop a work model in which roles and responsibilities are constantly changing while helping individuals adapt to new roles and reducing the gap between work and creativity by delegating decisions to employees regardless of their location if you contemplate nature you will find that the most organized creatures and adherent to the rules are a group of ants if you studied her more you would find that she constantly breaks these rules in order to get more gains and better food. The fifth rule is stability, which is a dangerous illusion. Here, overcome your fear of instability. If the usual traditions of your company do not suit the new problems, immediately search for the power of change according to what you previously knew. Rule six, the stupid one survives, but the smart one succeeds. How many patients have had a stroke or an accident that has led to them losing the ability to handle one of their body parts? He lived with this injury his entire life, 
but Zaki knows that there is hope for a complete recovery, and he is not content to live with an injury. The doctors told him that there was no hope of her recovery, so he searched for new methods of treatment, and he succeeded. He was not satisfied with surviving, but he wanted a full life. The seventh rule states that you learn from every failure. Failure in itself is not a failure unless you lose hope of turning it into success. Not everyone can have the mentality of success at the time of failure, except those who recognize the value of adaptation and learning its methods. When a company fails, it is not satisfied. By studying the past and the reasons for failure, but quickly identifying the main problem. It begins to reform them, either changing the price of its products, or changing the way one of its departments operates. This is the essence of adaptation, which lies in the necessary speed in dealing with new conditions. The eighth rule, Plan B, is very important. When you decide that you need to adapt to a new situation, that means that you are in a different situation, and you need some time to understand it well and realize what you have to do. Therefore, having a backup plan is much more important than having one high-risk plan. In Rule 9, you'll learn how to use chaos to your advantage. Chapter 4, Fly Outside the Flock, Do Not Imitate the Usual Ways of Working, and Get a Partner Who Will Help You Develop Your Business. We continue with the ninth rule, which is Do Not Be Traditional. We all struggle daily between our need for order and our desire for some chaos in our lives. Everyone tells us the importance of order and organization, but no one tells us that strict order is the enemy of creativity and development, and that it is a direct synonym for routine and deadly stability. On this basis, I advise you. Some chaos in your work environment which leads to curiosity, which in turn leads to creativity. As for the tenth rule, it is to promote collective thinking. In many cases, success is the result of the best idea, but that brilliant idea rarely comes from the leader alone. Rather, it is the product of group discussion, thinking, and organized analysis from work individuals, both young and old. A group cannot adapt if it is forced to do so. Individual Leadership Decision Have a strong partner The 11th rule tells you that in 2008, Activision published the Zombies game in the Call of Duty series, and this new game achieved unexpected success. But it is worth noting here that this subgame was in partnership with engineers and programmers from outside the company in response to the attempts of the developers of the main game, Call of Duty. To pump the game with new stages that are more exciting than the previous ones, the idea here is that you need someone to help you change and adapt appropriately, so do not play alone in a market where everyone plays together. Do not follow existing work patterns is the twelfth rule. Just as I advised you to break the rules of the market, I now advise you to break the rules of internal work in the company, and the problem begins here when the company begins to grow. It needs new leaders, so it risks everything it did and brings in leaders from outside the company who begin to repeat the same work pattern that they were accustomed to in their previous companies and thus cut some parts of the company and add new parts to it, so it becomes a hybrid company devoid of creativity. The solution is not to excessively change and modify the work environment. Adaptive made by Rule 13 Fight the traditional hierarchy in your company. Although this system is attractive, it hinders your ability to advance quickly and adapt to changes and slows down the pace of work. There are still four important rules you should know. Chapter 5. Collect proven facts and information to base your decisions on, be distinctive in your solutions, and free your ambition. The fourteenth rule is to rely on facts only, as the general manager of the Oakland baseball team, Billy Bean, succeeded in raising his team from the bottom to become one of the top teams in the American Baseball League. By relying on accurate information and proven facts in selecting players and team members instead of method, the trend followed by his competitors in search of legends and illustrious names. 
Therefore, make your changes based on reliable knowledge and do not waste time with inaccurate expectations and rumors. The fifteenth rule is to avoid solutions that everyone knows. In order to be different, you must follow your intuition. Sometimes, watch the market and seize a new opportunity, and do not limit yourself to one opportunity, while life is filled with many opportunities. As for the sixteenth rule, achieve your ambition. After everything you have learned up to this point, are you still afraid of change? Have you not yet realized the value of turning to new opportunities? So free yourself from all your fears, and know that life and circumstances do not set limits to your dreams, but you are the one who sets them, and your way of thinking is what prevents you from deviating from these imaginary limits. So go with your utmost energy towards everything you aspire to, and be the person you seek to become. The seventeenth and final rule is start at all times. Adaptation means change for the better, and change happens at every moment, which means that you have not lost anything yet. If you haven't started yet, which also means that even if you start and practice the conditioning game, you need to start over whenever you need to. A notable paragraph from the book. As long as you are adapting to survive, there is the potential to find higher level, more effective conditioning. This is especially true when a group or individual realizes that they are surviving until they find something better. They do not accept survival as a way to live because they have not lowered their expectations and want a better life. Conclusion If you feel that you are stuck in your place and that you aspire to what is better, then that means that you are still alive, and that is the real difference between you and someone who is walking himself to death without realizing it. The individual who refuses to change cannot tolerate the harshness of circumstances and believes that his fate is in the hands of others, others, and that he has no power or strength to do so. Forget it, focus on the 17 rules of conditioning, and do not believe that there are limits able to stop you from achieving the impossible in the eyes of others, and a summary of the rules of adaptation that you need on the individual and collective levels are, play your own game, do not be one of the losers who are unable to adapt, rebel against the rules, break the known rules of the game, and do not accept anything less than success, and develop a plan. Alternative, promote groupthink in your company, get a strong partner, and just keep the facts. An indicator of making your decisions and achieving your ambition by liberating yourself from your intellectual restrictions. And finally, start at all times, as it is not too late to begin your journey towards greatness.